Hey everybody, we're gonna walk through the user enrollment so you can see what that flow is like. So you can see here's the URL. It's our AirWatch environment slash enroll slash user. You have to do it the enrollment this way, this is an FYI. So we'll hit enter and we'll see what happens next. It does take a minute. Okay, so now it's asking me for my email address. I'll put that in and you'll see what happens next. It's gonna say once to download a profile, I'll just hit allow, close. Now we're going to settings. So inside of settings, it's kind of weird, it says enroll in null, but that's fine. See here, this is just your standard iOS user enrollment screen. You're gonna hit enroll my iPad. So password's in, now it's signing us in. Apple ID for Centrex. You see here that this is because we've taken Apple Business Manager and we've enrolled it and set it up with Azure. We'll put, pause again for this password. Just kidding. I forgot that it did not show it. And it also helps when you put the password in right the first time. So you put that password in. It's signing us in. So it says enrollment is successful, which is pretty cool. So you can see here on their workplace services, you're gonna see the profiles that are actually supported. You'll see a lot of stuff like SSO extension, mobile SSO certificate, that kind of stuff. It's prompted me to, to install a couple apps. So you'll see here, nothing is impacted. Even though I signed in with that Manage Apple ID, Ayrton is all good. You can see Apple ID, JJTolsCenterX.com. Just that simple. Thanks and have a good day.